we're doing a thing called mood directing where as you see spread out there's a bunch of costumes there's a fucking party raging downstairs and we're gonna put on some costumes and fucking party i guess Before we get here, yeah, but once we're here, we're fucking cold. Mood direction, uh, Mario and Luigi has always been like the constant. It's almost every single time that we've had to go out there, it's the one costume that is consistently out there all the time. It's a classic. We're about to go do it right now. Direction when we got asked, like, hey, you guys want to put on some costumes and party? 
Yeah, I remember uh, one of our good friends, Dustin, calls us and he's like, hey, I'm short of uh, people who wear costumes. You guys want to come in Mood Direct? We had no idea what Mood Direction was. And then we just came in, they threw like a bunch of costumes on us. Like, they're like, okay, all you got to do is come out and like bring the party. And uh, it kind of sparked an idea for us. We're like, listen, this is like really cool. Nobody's really doing it. It's like a super edgy part of a scene. So we really wanted to like take it one step further, get higher quality costumes, provide a duo thing that's going on, and like just, making like, it an entertaining yeah. option. Like we'll have like Safari Sam dragging the T Rex around, and the T Rex will break out of its chains and go into it, and like, like to provide entertainment and experience. Yeah, that. the whole goal of it is like when you come to the party and you have an experience, you're like, holy, wow, you know, like I can't believe what this is happening. What the fuck is this? First. Interaction experience in Mood Direction, putting on a costume that's going out, it's like everyone's like grabbing you and like trying to be a little bit and it's like, dude, get your hands off me. We had no idea what we were getting into. Super shy, like I didn't want to like be touched or be handled. And they're just like, here, you're gonna put on these ridiculous costumes and you're gonna go out in front of all these people and you're gonna just dance and, and get the party moving. Just a little bit to really get used to it. I'm like really being like the hype, really like being in the situation in the circumstance. As soon as the costume goes on and as soon as you're out there at the party, it's just like the energy is amazing, incredible. Blah, 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 blah. Can you restate the question? So, the logistics and the process behind our mood direction is uh, well, when we first started, we were borrowing costumes from the venue and they were really old and raggedy and they were tearing apart, so we kind of developed this, this hobby almost where we started collecting and hoarding costumes. The venue will tell us like, hey, this is exactly what we want, these are the theme songs coming with it. And we'll come in and be like, we don't we have half of those, but we also have this really good stuff right here. And then we'll just pull it off. And then we just kinda realized like as a duo it works better when you can do stuff like Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper or Mario and Luigi. So my favorite costume used to be Mr. Puff from Ghostbusters, but me being a huge Star Wars nerd, I am a huge fan of like the Darth Vader duo that we do when we come out as a Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. My favorite is uh, Indiana Jones because there's this like pouch that has like two pockets and it's just dual carry bottles of Jameson and just walk around to everybody and just get them really fucked up. And they're like, no, no, we don't want a shot. But yeah, they, they do. do. Really. They really do. He's really good at it. I'm really good at it.